Alright, very happy to welcome this next guy back. Uh, he's been here a few times before, he's still rocking. Please give it up Sam Greener! Yeah. Yes, brother! Oh, yeah. Give it up for Justin, give it up for DC. Applause yeah. for yourself. I'm unemployed right now, so I've been doing a lot of reading. I read a really interesting article recently in Handsome Scientist magazine that said uh, that by the year 2019, Handsome Scientist technology will actually have created, we will actually be able to make designer babies a reality. Which is pretty crazy, like you guys, we'll be able to pick out the characteristics, the traits, even what we want our child to look like before they're even born. Which is awesome, because you don't want that idiot God to fuck everything up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been looking down the streets, but there are a lot of troglodytes and ugly people. Like, he's not doing his job. We need some sort of consistency or quality assurance person up there. Like, I like I personally am a big fan of his work. Um, that's just me. But I mean, like, I, that's my deal with God. Like, either from now on, every baby that comes out of a womb has an tattoo that says inspected by Joe on their taint. <laughs> or we're going to go with designer babies. And I want designer babies because in the article it said you won't even need to get out of your, your car or your hovercraft, whatever type of, you don't even need a vehicle. They'll just have an app for your iPhone that you take to the place and you fucking go there and you don't need to get out of your vehicle. It's just, uh, yeah, can I get the, um, uh, can I get the number two? Can you super petite that? Extra blonde, extra blue eyes. Can I get a side of sarcasm? Uh, and just a, a, just a titch of justifiable cynicism? <laughs> and, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, last time I was here, they put Gypsy in my shit. Uh, you need to make sure that doesn't happen. Cause I, I was here four years ago, and Tyler's right back here. He talks to frogs and eats cork. He's a fucking Gypsy. He's obviously a fucking Gypsy, okay? Can I get a shamrock shake, too? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what's up, party people? Where are my party people at? Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Holla! What's up? I used to be... Such a party person, you guys. I'm 26. I feel like I'm an old man now, though. Like seriously, like the past year, something's happened in my my chemistry or whatever. I used to be the ultimate party person, and when I say that, I don't mean I was the first guy there, last one to leave, because that guy's a douchebag. He shits in your bathtub and <laughs> just leave it that. He does all that stuff, and that's that's not me. Like when I was when I was growing up, I was always down for whatever, just whatever. And by whatever, I mean drugs. <laughs> but whatever drugs, like whatever, like whatever you have on you, or what you get, that's either, whatever, cash advance is perfect, let's do this. But back in there, like, oh man, this pot, this pot is fucking my shit up. Oh man, these Vicodin, these Percocet, they're taking me to a whole nother level. These magic mushrooms are gonna change the way that I perceive my reality from here on in. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm, 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 I don't know what happened, but in the last year it switched, somebody flipped an adult switch, and now I'm like, oh man, this Activia yogurt with Ebibinus regularis is fucking my shit up! Regulate, colon. Oh man, these Dr. Scholl's orthopedic inserts are bringing me to a whole nother level of comfort and back stress reduction. <laughs> This PBS documentary on World 2 Wheelbarrows is going to change my life. I need to change my life, man. <laughs> Boring old man. Seriously, I watch like 60 minutes all the time and I'm asking like about the weather and I lose my slippers. I don't know. I'm going to literally, it's my birthday in two weeks, which is kind of exciting. That's kind of an exciting um, And I was going to have a huge party with yogurt and documentaries, apparently. Uh, but I decided not to do that because... Like, first of all, like, I can't top my idol's birthday. Like, my idol's Lil Wayne. You guys like Lil Wayne? <laughs> Lil Wayne's fantastic. For his birthday last year, for his 25th birthday, he got a suitcase with a million dollars in cold, hard cash, you guys. That's sweet, right? No. That's really fucking rude. That's really rude. Think about it, you guys. Lil Wayne is a young, money Millionaire. 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 He has millions of dollars already, millions of 
upon millions. He's a Bill Gates of rap. You don't give something to somebody that they already have lots of. That's totally illogical. That'd be like giving me a bunch of expired metro cards or unused condoms or unfounded stereotypes about Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got plenty of those, thanks. <laughs> you know, and everybody here knows how you get a rap superstar a birthday gift. You just take something that doesn't have diamonds on it and you put diamonds on it. <laughs> oh, what's up, Lil Wayne? Yeah, go ahead, open it up. Oh, uh, yeah, open it up. Oh, check it out. It's an emerald encrusted Easy Bake Oven, easy for Wheezy. <laughs> Or just go to Home Depot and get them a ladder that's forever. My name's Sam Whitner. Thank you so much, you guys.